Hi, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd get back in with... Oh, I can't get comfy. Uh, sorry about that. With my top ten series that I was doing. Um, I think the last one I did was over Christmas time. It might have been... Might have been the beginning of January I did one. Um, so I'm going to do my top ten palettes. So I've just had a drink. Got a burp. Oh, pardon me, sorry. Um, I'm going to get a wet wipe because I'm going to do a couple of swatches here and there. Right, I've got three out, three palettes out from Urban Decay. So we'll get those done first. Um, the first palette is, is the Naked Basics. This is a really, really good palette to have if you like nudes. So it looks like that. It's a smooth sort of palette. Um, easy to clean down. Doesn't show the, the mess. You get a nice mirror, skews the mess on there. And then you get two, four, you get six shadows. And unfortunately one of those is black. Um, I wish they wouldn't put black eyeshadow in every palette that they seem to put out. Well, it's not just not Urban Decay, it's loads of other brands. They always put a black eyeshadow in, and I think everyone's got tons of black eyeshadows. And I think another darker brown in there would have been better than the black. But saying that, we have um, this one's called Faint. This is a nice, nice brown. Um, this is Naked 2. This one here. Uh, and then you've got three um, light shades which are very, very similar to each other. Um, these two are matte. This one's more of a pinkier shade. And then this one, this one is the lightest out of the three, but it's, um, it has some sparkle. Oops, that's not a clean finger. Oh, and I've just messed, messed up my shadow now. Gosh, I wasn't looking what I was doing there. So, where's that one? And this is the pinky shade. Might be showing up on camera. And this is the one in the middle, which is just a, a beige colour. Um, so you have, you know, some good, some good colours in there. I just. Um, covered up. Which one was that? I just covered up that one. The lighter brown. So that's those. Let me just wipe my hands off. Got a wet wipe here. And then the original Naked palette had to be in this. Um, what you get? You get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve colours. Um, actually, this one hasn't got a black. It has two really dark grey colours here at the end, which are. I mean, that is a brownie grey. That is a more. That is a, a grey. Um, just wipe these off. I mean, you have a really good. I mean, it's a really good versatile palette this one um, you can do and using these up here you can do some really um, dark smoky eyes and then obviously you can go down here and you can go for your lighter colours this is a lovely gold colour it's a lovely colour um, this one here that is practically all gone or oh, that gold colour is called half baked and um, that is called naked the one that's nearly gone um, this is a really nice colour, this is called Sin, this one at the end here. I mean you can do your light um, colours here, this one's Book. You can do your light sort of brown eye with those. Um, Smog and Dark Horse are really nice colours, I'll show you those. This is this is Smog, and this one is Dark Horse. 
they're really nice colours and when they blend out they blend out really really well so a nice palette to have and then I have um, the smoked palette by Urban Decay um, probably it's for Christmas one year <coughs> There's a lovely blue and a lovely green in here. I've used quite a bit of. Um, this one's called Rockstar, this blue. And the green is called Evidence. These are lovely colours. Um, mushroom's nice. It's a lovely grey. These are. You have got. One, two, three, there are four matte colours, and of course there is the black, as usual. Um, it's one of my bugs with palettes. <laughs> you might have got the idea of that now. Right. I'm going to need to clean white and white. There we go. Um, this is this makes a nice highlight colour. It's called um, Freestyle. If you don't want like the bright, a creamier colour, this one's called Kinky, the bright one. That one's taught, I call it Freestyle. Um, if you don't want quite the bright highlight, as I just said, you could use that one. It looks really nice. Um, there's a gorgeous dark brown in here. It's a matte. Yeah, nice palette again. have two sleek palettes here. Um, the first one is Au Naturel. You always get a really, really good mirror in these. Sorry, my mirrors are all dirty. Um, it's another brown neutral palette. Um, sleek could do it practically in all their palettes, put the black in. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cough apologize again this was a nice cream color that's gone now it's called nugget that's gone um, there was um, these were all matte across the top these varying shades of cream going into like a I don't know peachy color these um, that makes a nice crease colour. Those were along there. Um, this one was called Toast. I just realised that they've got names. Um, honeycomb, Cappuccino, New Book. What's those? Really, really pretty, like neutral colours. Um, this is a gorgeous, this one's called taupe for some reason. It makes a gorgeous highlight colour. Highlight colour and inner corner colour. If you know, if you want to, um, if you want to just highlight um, the very top of um, your brow bone, um, just a little bit of that really lifts up, lifts up the eye. And then we have a lovely selection of two, four, five um, browns going on to a sort of a purpley brown which is called Regal. Um, this one's Mineral Earth. Um, this one's called Bark. What's, that one's called Bark. I've used enough of that. There's a dent in there as you can see. Spark. Um, this one's called Moss. That's a lovely colour. Like um really bronzy, bronzy colour. Um, and this one here is called Conquer. That's pretty. Um, yeah. I haven't used this palette in a while. I'm gonna leave it out now I've rediscovered it. 
because um, I just realised how, how good of a palette it is. So I'm going to give it some love. It's going to get some use. The next one I've got out is the Vintage Romance palette. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Um, there's some gorgeous bronzes varying in shades along the top here. Bronze colours. Um, there's nice silver in that corner. Um, and then along the bottom are varying shades of burgundies going into purple. So I'm going to swatch these for you. And that's the purpley one. Uh, you can see those. Um, there is a matte. Just wipe my fingers. There is a matte burgundy colour in the top corner and like a bluey purpley colour. So you have quite a mixture of colours in that palette. I think this is another nice one to own if you can if you can find it. I'm not sure if that is on sale anymore. Um on the sleek makeup site, I should have looked actually. Um, but I do know that you can get um, the old natural one. I'm sure that's for sale still. And then we have the La Rock palette. Really enjoyed using this palette. Excuse the fingerprints, it's another one of these that don't clean up very well. <clears throat> so this is a mixture of, oh it's just a mixture of all sorts, uh, there's cream colours, there's um, gold colours, the bronzy colours, this is a lovely colour, it's called Garnet. Um, this is deep purple, this is pretty, sorry someone's just come in the door. Um, there are some nice, there's a nice taupe and a lovely mauve colour. Let me see, I've got to wipe these. Oh, it won't come off. See the mess I'm in. Right. This, oh God, I've got itchy nose, sorry. This brown here is called taupe. It's pretty, it makes a nice crease colour. And this one's called Mauve. This one's also a nice crease colour. I've used that in the crease a few times and it does look nice. Um, light pink, cream. There's the lighter shades. There's a nice gold and a lovely pewter colour. Pewter? Pewter, pewter, pewter. P-E-W-T-E-R. I can never quite know how you say that. Pew, pewter, yeah. And that's gold. Just the way I, s my accent, it doesn't sound right. So there's those. Um, the champagne colour's quite pretty. So yeah, that's a, another really nice palette just got some gold shadow all over the place so I'm going to have to clean clean that up I've made a right mess on that one so, so I find with some of these palettes they put the shadows so close together um, but I suppose it stops your palette being so huge doesn't it um, uh, they do tend to get in a bit of a mess sometimes. Right. Um, 
we have the Nude Tood palette from the Balm. I have the ones with the Naughty Girls. Where they're all posing. Um, there's the usual um, selection of there's a white I don't use very much. I think it's just a little bit too stark for me. Um, but there's the shades of pink, pink shades. And there's a nice goldy colour there. As an alternative to that white. Um, there's a nice matte colour here. Just for a nice crease colour. My my fingers are getting stained. That didn't show up very very right, did it? Not the right shade. No, that's better. So yeah, it's a nice crease colour. Um, this is really pretty. It's a really lovely burgundy purple shade. Um, this is nice, nice sort of coppery gold colour. Just wipe, wipe off again. Um, there's a really nice dark brown here. That's really nice. And then you have the black as usual. Um, yeah, but that's got everything in for like different um, effects of smoky eye um, you can do like the um, the burgundy one, the brown you can go for the golds um, yeah, really pretty use that one quite a bit right, the next palette is the Revolution Flawless palette comes in a black case. I need to have a bit of a clean, don't I? And then these are all names, but so um, so hard to read on a piece of clear plastic. So I'm just going to show you the colours. So you get how many colour? How many sh shadows do you get? You get th thirty-two. Um, I can't remember how much this was now, but I, I know it wasn't that expensive, but they are amazing quality for the price. Um, I bought mine um, from, from the actual Revolution Palette um, website. Um, but you, you, if you can find the shops, I think they're sold in, drug, in um, Superdrug. Um, I've seen them in Superdrug. I don't know if they're sold anywhere else. Um, but I say if you can't find them in the shops, so they said they're always the website to go to. Um, there's a lovely selection of browns, golds, pooters, um, like bronze colours, purple, um, nice green here. Um, I'm just picking out a few colours for you to see. Really, really nice palette. Nice gold. This is the nice blue. Um, I mean, if if you can, if you can find it, um, treat yourself to it because it is a nice palette again. Um, I'm getting the. A bit of a mess going on here. Um, and then I have the JC Nadia Powers palette. Um, it's 28 eyeshadows. Now I do really, really suggest that you buy this. Um, I got this palette for $5.99 from eBay. 
the shadows are really good sized they're really creamy they're really pigmented um because i was a bit sort of you know getting a palette with with like what did i say there was 28 eyeshadows in there i was sort of a bit you know this is, um, am i sort of wasting my six pounds um but i thought it's sort of only six pounds i'll give it a go um and i was really 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 um impressed with with what i received um i'll just do you some swatches here i mean you can see how pigmented they are they're really really soft Really, really gorgeous colours. Um, trying to find a finger that's clean. <laughs> really, really pretty colours. That's really nice. It's sort of a a mauve, lilac-y colour. Um, got a clean finger here. Um, there's a nice. This is a nice sparkly, beige cream colour. It's really pretty. I have a white and I'll you a few more a few more swatches right um, this is a nice article of like it's a rosy purpley mm, you can see it's gorgeous I can't, I'm terrible at, at um, describing colours. It's a nice brown. It has a little bit of sparkle on that one, but um, the fallout, there are a couple of these with sparkles, um, but the fallout of the sparkle isn't too bad at all. You get some eyeshadows that have sparkle and you, you've got it all down your face all day, but this isn't too bad. Um, that one's a little bit of a sparkle going in that one, but that's a nice, nice one. Um, then you have sort of, this is a nice matte brown. Um, yeah, so if, if you, if you like your neutral colours, um, and you can find it on eBay, I suggest you, uh, you get this one as well. They are spending your money for you. Um, but no, I, I really do suggest you. But if out of any of these palettes, um, I really would say to 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 get this one. I mean I mean it only costs five ninety nine. Um some of these were an awful lot much more money than 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 the five ninety nine. Um and I'm saying I am saying that this is as good. It's as good as the Urban Decay Smoked. It's as good as the Naked Palette. Um, yeah. Try it. <laughs> and then I've left the best till last. My Too Faced Chocolate Palette. Um, I've only had this since Christmas, um, but I just had, um, had to include it. Ugh, got hair. I can't get rid of it. Mm. Find that awful. Can feel it. Got it. Um, you know the smell. <laughs> I can sit and sniff it all day. It's gorgeous. Um, really does smell of chocolate. Um, I absolutely love that colour and that colour. They are. are Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Um, the bluey purpley one is Candid Violet. And this colour here on my middle finger is Cherry Cordial. Now, I've heard people say, I can't remember the colour that they're matching it to, but this, no, this one on my middle finger is supposedly the in colour on the catwalks um, for... 2014-2015. Um, I'm not saying this is the colour, this is similar to the colour that is 
you know. Um, so yeah, I've got a colour that's um, on trend at long last. Um, there's a nice matte brown here, which is called Semi Sweet. This is a nice colour here, Salted Caramel. I use that in the crease quite a bit. I use that one in the crease as well. If you blend it out, it's not too dark. Um, there's one here called Black Forest Truffle that I quite like a lot. It's a dark colour. It is a bit sparkly, but it is really, really pretty. Oh, do you know, that hair's moved to my nose now. <laughs> You know what it is, don't you? It's the dog fur. Um, yeah, that's Black Forest Gatto. Um, this one is milk chocolate. Um, you have white chocolate here. That's the big one at the top. Layer lock. You see it floating from my little finger. It gets everywhere. Um, we've got a spare finger. This one down here, it's a champagne truffle. It's a nice sparkly, sort of pinky cream shade. Um, yeah. My husband bought me that for Christmas, um, which, oh, love him forever for that. Um, it's a really, really nice palette. Um, is a lot of money. Um, is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. Um, and I do want the semi-sweet palette. I have heard that that one isn't as good as this one. Um, but I, I think when they bring out palette after palette after palette in like this sort of series, like the Naked series and the rest of them. I always think the very first one they bring out, everyone loves the most. Um, yeah, that's the lovely palette. So there you go, that's my top 10 palettes that I like. Um, there were some more that I wanted to include, um, but these are the ones that made it. So I hope you've enjoyed my selection and I hope you enjoy watching and I hope I haven't encouraged you to, to spend too much money. Um, bye for now.